So I'm newly single or whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you I were married like a, a few months ago. <laughs> what is this? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ancy Rancy Podcast. I have a new guest. Never seen her, never spoken to her for an old guest. What, over 120 days? Dude, this is the longest time. I haven't visited Dubai and that's why this is so weird. You see how I visit you guys every three months and I haven't seen you in six I know. fucking months. Lely Mirz, everybody. I miss you. I'm not going to lie. I know I miss you I too. Miss you. I'm not going to lie. I spoke to my financial advisor, my attorney, blah, blah, blah. And everything is like, um, do you want to maybe move back to Dubai? Because you're terrible with money in LA. And I'm like... <laughs> It's um, yes. It's pretty bad. I know. You should move back. I, I'm not even kidding. No, you're doing great, no, babe. Lately, you're doing great. I'm not even kidding. Shut up. It's it's like okay, we'll get into the you know whatever, and then it will all like leak out. But so I'm newly single or whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, Do you I were married a like a few months ago. <laughs> what is this? No, I've it's pretty giving much been me. in this relationship for <laughs> it is giving every woman I know, okay? But I've been in a in a relationship after so long. Um in my adult years, I think it's been like eight months. I think I was in a relationship since November, December, Jan, Feb, and it's like it was I don't know, it was kind of interesting and different yeah. dating in your twenties than like teenagers. I'm fing batshit insane. Yeah. I am insane. I have severe BPD. Like I had to do heavy therapy and I'm like I am not set to be someone's girlfriend lately what the f I'm so scary yeah but also you hadn't been in a relationship for so like a proper relationship for so long like this was like your first real adult relationship that's actually very interesting you say that I've never it's such a nice perspective I've never seen it that way so it's fine yeah like it's fine yeah. eight months good like it's not eight months wasted it's eight, eight months of like you learning more about what you want yeah. and like who you like and what you're like and what, you know, it's not that bad. Yeah, I think I did pretty good for myself. Are you sad? No, I'm, I don't think I'm sad, but it's just like, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm genuinely I'm so, exhausted. I'm so fucking exhausted because it's like, sorry, what is this? Oh, I got an, I got an email. We just got my first little email. I put up a story saying, send in your questions. And I think somebody sent me their voicemail in desperate need of advice. Oh my God. That's how I go to Lely, you guys. I text her every day in desperate need of advice. So <laughs> Sopi <laughs> Sopika Viz Vizvilai Gum just sent me something. I'm so sorry. It better not be how do I find a rich husband? Yeah, it's always like the most like insane. I'm so sick of I know I, I am with you. I get the most insane questions like how to make the boobs and vagina bigger. And I'm like, what? Like what are you like on my business email? <laughs> what sorry, I why do you think we know that? First of all, we're both like single as fuck. We don't have rich husbands. Why are you asking us where we're gonna find rich husbands? What I can see why you think I'm crying. I put my contacts in. Every single time I put my contacts in, I go on TikTok and everyone's like, oh, Ansi, we love you. We're here for you. And I'm like, huh? I'm doing my liner. What are you talking about? And it's like, I look, look at me. No, I just... <laughs> I look miserable. I swear it's the pink blush and my... I put contacts in my eyes of water. But how do I play this video? Because you couldn't hear. I just played it. Did you hear it? Look. No. Just play it and you tell me what she's saying. Okay, so this girl was like, I know you asked me to send, you told me to send you relationship questions, but I'm going to ask you something about friendships. I think they're both important. For some reason, she sounded like Anna Paul, which is so bizarre. Anyway, with that being said, so she basically says how friendships are also important. And then she's friends with this one girl, but she's very insecure. And she's only friends with her because she's trapped in the same class as her. So what advice can you give that girl who's like struggling with this friendship? She's like not a big fan of her, but it's like, I've been in a very similar situation like that. It's just that like high school sucks. Did you like anybody from high school? You were just trapped in a class with a bunch of friends, right? To be honest, I wasn't friends with anyone in high school. I'm probably the worst person to ask. I had no friends. I had my sister and we were just each other's friends. Yeah. Kind of. I'm, I'm but we were like too busy focusing on work to give a shit about friends. But I'm literally friends with everyone I went to school with now. No, I, I was just going to say, I think you're a pretty, like, you have a lot of friends more than me. I have no friends from school and college anymore. I mean, I have two, three, like, I'm talking about a big friend circle. Like, one thing I loved about you is that you made me meet so many new people. 
and you have like guy yeah. friends, girlfriends, and she's very like social and she's like Lily has a life outside YouTube. And for me, it's like I have two best friends, <laughs> uh, scary mom, two fat ratchet bunnies, and then YouTube. So you have a lot of friends. You got to oh. give me like friend advice, actually. How the fuck? You, you're very like, dude, you regulate your emotions so well. You know that? What do you mean? You're such a, like a regulated person. You have like actually good boundaries with your friends. Like you have good boundaries. You would say, you would agree, right? Oh my God, you look so different. Your nose, you stupid bitch. Oh my God, Laylee, I miss your old face. I was like, <laughs> wait, why does she look so different? You like now you look- It's the nose. You look like your mother and like Elise and all like come in. I'm like, wait, why does she look so different? Lily, what the f come closer? Not us changing the damn topic. Yeah, look, so I literally have my mom's nose now, but she had, she, my mom's never had surgery ever. And she has the most perfect nose. I was like, give me her nose. That's what Oh I my want. God, that is so crazy. I was like, uh, Lily, hook me up. Uh, bye, line, June, July for a nose, but I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, let's go back I to the know. friends thing. When it comes to friends, <laughs> listen, I've, I didn't really associate myself with anyone in school but we kind of like started hanging out once we all left school and then like came back after uni and like whoever was like still in Dubai or like came back to Dubai, we just kind of like rekindled whatever was there. Yeah. And then I've also met friends through other friends and like, I'm not a social person. Like you make me seem like I'm a social person, bitch, I'm literally at home. Like none of my friends live in, well, a few live in Dubai, but it's just, I've met a lot of people through other people and just clicked with like people and like certain circles and then just unclicked with people in certain circles. And it's just, I'm not like a super social person. So I have my boundaries. Like I'll see people only on the weekends unless I'm really fucking bored and I have friends from out of town who've just flown in, then I'll see them during the week. But you know me, like I love being at home. I just, I'm not, I, f I feel like friends are not really that important. We put so much emphasis on friends but it's like, it's it's fine having just one or two good, solid, actual friends. So that's what I'm saying. You know what yeah, I, mean? I spoke to my therapist recently and it's like, dude, I have like, okay, so I'm on the spectrum of like, you know, ADHD and autism and like BPD. But you know, my meds literally, mm. like if I fix my ADHD, I fix everything else. And one of the main, th like the thing you just said is normal lately. The fact that you were like, oh, I'm, I only go out with friends during the weekend. That's a f green flag. And then if you're bored, you'll contact them. That's a green flag. And if you have nothing going on for you, you're like busy, you love to stay home and like look after your stuff. That's a green flag. So it's like, you're so yeah. regulated, but this is the normal, like how humans are supposed to work. Like humans are social creatures. So I live in isolation. And for somebody who has BPD, yeah. it's insane because I'm in my thoughts and I'm very black and white. And you're not ever black and white. You know how like Lady would always tell me this? Like, I think in every friendship, there's a baggage. And I asked her like, what do you think is my bag? I asked Lady Lubaba this and she was like, I hate your black and white thinking. It's so like detrimental for like, when I hang out with you, I get so annoyed with your thinking. I'm like, it's not even a big deal. Like I'm not, at least I'm like a terrorist or something. And then Lady kind of yeah. indirectly did say like, why do you have this like terrible thing that everything will go wrong? Like we'll be driving and I'm like, Lady, <laughs> imagine this car explodes. And she's like, and see, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you say that? I'm like, whoa, like, why are you freaking out? I'm just saying. But she knows that that is like my internal like fight or flight. So it's like, even if in the yeah. nail salon too, it's like, I have boundaries where I'm like, hey, I'm not going to pay for these nails, but my delivery should be this way. Not, be kind and nice and firm boundaries, but I will be BPD batshit crazy. In situations like that, Lily is very much like, I feel like we, you need to increase your boundaries a little bit with strangers and I need to like slow it down. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you need to be more like, yeah, 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 I get you. I don't want to pay these nails. And that's it. Like you didn't upset anybody. You're such a people. <laughs> it's happened to me so many right. times. <laughs> and it's like, I think I'm too much. I'll just go home and cry. <laughs> and then actually I will go home and be like, I'm such a f cunt. I deserve to be like, I need death penalty. So I feel like we struggle in that way. Lily's like, too boundary less in situations and I have too much of a boundary. Like I'm such a mean person. So my therapist is like, can you- No, you're not. My therapist was more like, you need to just work on your delivery. You have really good like stance on things, but it's like, don't be too black and white. You can't live that way. So the fact that you literally went like, oh yeah, when I'm bored, I'll do friends. And then I'm going to be with my boyfriend and then my husband and then like my mom sometimes and my cat. Dude, you're f***ing okay. Yeah. You're doing so good for yourself. <laughs> like you're doing, like you're, you, you make- <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> I, I even told her- I hate, like, I, I depend on external validation. Like, I'm such a people pleaser. Lily's like, what? Why do you f***ing care what other people say? And I'm like, how do you not care? I've just grown up not giving a shit. 
Yeah, that is like... Like, why do you care? But like, if you, no, honestly, like, you can, fair enough, care about the opinions of people who matter to you. But like, if some random f- person tells you like, ew, you're so ugly. Why would I care about what this person, especially if it's from a blank profile? Like, first of all, I've said this so many times, no hot girl yeah. comments on another person's picture and says, ew, you're so ugly. When have you ever seen hot girls like put other girls down they just don't do it because they're happy they're hot they're living their life it's always the ugly yeah. sad miserable losers that have the most to say because like yeah you're sad you're miserable you don't want to see other people doing well so why do you take it to heart you shouldn't take shit to heart especially from like a random person mm. no i i know I, I you just have to keep reminding yourself like their opinion's so irrelevant i think it's the uh the like sometimes yeah it hurts yeah but. it's like the parents wound like i don't i don't know absent mother absent mother father it's like they play a role so it's like i've constantly i do things to get like a pat on my back a validate like some sort of validation some sort of like i want people to like me i want people to like think that i'm a good person so it's like i constantly will do things to get people's approval and somebody left a comment which f- me up like i love that's why i love my followers bro they f- up they somebody commented like Ansi, the reason you let people cross your boundaries and you let them do things to you is because you think that's the love that you deserve so you will approve people mm. you will allow hurt and people to cross your boundaries because you think this is the best you can do and that killed me that is true lady like f- like i was just like holy sh- that's what it is i will accept the bare minimum because like i think this is what my worth is no one else is giving me love or attention so i will take whatever i get and it's like i it's it's, it's either youtube or it's like a boy or it's friends and it's like yeah but that's very normal the thing is obviously we're an industry where we're putting out content we need validation we need oh, people to like yeah. us because if they don't f-ing like us <laughs> what's our what is our content but at the end of the day like there's people who hate us yeah. that will reshare our content reshare s- shit about us but like we're still getting clout <laughs> they're still giving us like whatever it is it doesn't matter yeah i love when you think at things you- like half glass full I've been taught my entire life to see it half empty I think it's a lot of like um I think it's called the immigrant mindset of like since I don't come from money my and my mom's a nurse Mm. so she busted her ass like you know working that she would come home and and like my bedtime stories were not like Red Riding Hood or Goldilocks and Three Bears it was oh my god (laughs) it was like this happened in the ER today (laughs) an Arab man was playing I'm gonna tell this story and it's gonna scar you because this is my freaking childhood that scarred me I'm gonna put all of you into it okay all my trauma it's I'm gonna share that all right y'all are y'all are never gonna stand next to a ceiling fan after I tell you what my mom told me when I was three freaking three years old till this day I'm 25 and I remember it an Arab man was playing with his newborn baby, playing it, like throwing it high up and like very high. Oh God. And there was a ceiling fan. I'm not even going to say what happened. And then the... <gasps> I'm so sorry. Stop. I'm so sorry for newborn moms, like new uh, single wed- widowed mothers, whoever. If you're a mom, I'm so sorry. I get the saddest comments. I get comments like, hey, Ansi, I love you so much. I said, I put my three kids into bed and then I watch you and then this is what they fucking yeah. hear. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm horrible. Yeah. Oh my God. So my mother will come home and tell me like, oh, the car accidents, X, Y, Z. She's like, never f- do skydiving. Never get into this plane seat of this economy. And I'm like, mother, you've ruined me. I am just a negative person yeah. because like I will sit right now and here I, I can't I couldn't sit sometimes next to a power battery like light because she's like a lot of people don't know about voltage and it can like explode in your face I'm like thank you mother very motherly <laughs> advice I must say so hanging out with oh, no. yeah hanging out with somebody like Laylee and Lubaba they will like they've they've not had moms who are like insane like m- mine so it's a lot of like um Ansi, can you like snap like Laylee and the Bible will literally be like snap out of it I'm like yeah, yeah okay I'm fine I'm fine like that's all I need I need someone to be like snap out of it you're so stupid I'm like you're right you're right so but you know what the thing that what helped me was I kind of just live life now and I'm like whatever is meant to happen is going to happen and I just kind of need to accept it if I'm gonna crash my car and die today well, that's what's going to happen. Obviously, I'm not going to go out my way to try yeah. and crash my car and die. But, oh, bitch, you have. You, know, you have tried all right. Have you seen the way you drive? <laughs> like, I remember her friend Zara. Like, we, It depends on the mood I'm in. <laughs> no, I was just like, I, I'm driving with Laylee and it's like, a, like an opinion of hers that I have that I'm like, I'm not sharing with anybody, but she's a terrible driver. Like, I got to put my life insurance really high when I'm with her in Dubai. And then, like, you know, I noticed with other friends and no one comments. And then Zara is like a friend that like Laylee hangs out with. I think they're like besties first since they were like children. And like, I she introduced me to her and then we hang out and then Zara just like it just rolls out of her tongue like yeah Lily's actually a terrible driver Ansi. I'm like I 
I think I've, I've met my soulmate. Lay- Lely's trying to kill everyone. And then the minute she said it, I was like so comfortable. I'm like, thank f- God. I thought this was just me. I thought I was insane. She's a horrible driver. And it's like... <laughs> If I die, we all die together. <laughs> I have that mentality too. I'm like, we're getting into Emirates economy. Uh, Lately, like, I will be doing business. I'm like, that's fine. So if I die, you're dying with me. But at least we both go down. <laughs> Her seat will just be more softer than mine, but it's okay. Yeah. So it's like, but you're so regulated lately. I, I genuinely think of you. I know you think I'm insane. I think of you every day and I'm like, I need to be more regulated. Because it's like, what would Laylee do? Yeah, what will Laylee do? I, I've, I've literally told this to Lubaba. I'm like, bro, hanging no, out. No, don't do that. I'm unhinged. <laughs> I'm unhinged too. I think you're a little better than me. I think on the spectrum, I'm like a eight, nine. You're like a six. I'll take you. I'll take a six and a nine. So. Oh God. Like Lubaba was going through yeah, things. We, just, we completely ignored her question. I know. I'm so, I know. I'm so sorry. We got to do. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We can't help you. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry, guys. You don't have friends either. No, dead ass. Like, I just posted the story. So I'm going to like figure out the whole audio situation. And then I promise you I'll do like one episode designated just to answering your questions. But like right now we're, we haven't like talked in so long. And I want to start doing this thing where we just get on and just f-ing talk. Okay. So I haven't talked Wait, to you for a month now, I've, I think. Yeah, I actually want to get into this f-ing breakup, babe. You just hit me with a bombshell and changed the f- you know what's so funny? What? It's so funny. Um, the friend that we know, he just texted me 20 seconds ago. Don't you f***ing disappear on me again. Are you okay? Like everyone's like, are you okay? I'm actually great. Like I hate to say this, but I f***ing, th- like that's why I love about things I'm insane. I'm avoidant. So mm. I thrive. Wait, when did you guys break up? Uh, I want to say maybe today. Five, <laughs> no, maybe like 5, 5. p.m. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> fucking maybe like a week. it's been a week now i think today marks a week and i think i told you guys like yeah two days ago three days ago but yeah it's been like i mean you know i know it's very toxic it's very hot and cold but i think i'm in the mm. stage where i'm like oh i don't think this relationship is good for me no it's like really hard to accept but i'm like it's okay and there's always going to be another person but it's like it's not looking good <laughs> yeah because you've been with someone for like you've been like attached to someone for like eight months now someone you talk to every day so the fact that you've now got like that person's not there it's kind of like there's a hole yeah and you're like oh this is just so quiet this is very strange no that's the thing um did you cry uh (laughs) you cried don't lie okay so you don't you ugly cried in the mirror for like 30 seconds and then you're like oh you're gonna (laughs) oh no 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 (laughs) i'm gonna get into it you're not even ready you're not even ready what the happened so do you know in dubai i would cry i've cried with breakups with boys whatever um, I did film a podcast mm. yesterday about talking about this issue. I started to cope and I'm using. It did it wasn't, oh. yeah, it wasn't, it was completely the opposite. I couldn't be in a relationship with somebody. I did not know how to love. I did not know how to communicate communicate. I would text Lubaba every day, like, I want to be alone. I can't, like, it's I'm so avoidant. And even our Canadian friend, he's avoidant too. So he would, I'm like, dude, how? She's like, this is what I do. I do friends with benefits. But I'm a woman and I just, I'm not somebody who flanks. I don't f- around. Like he's yeah. the only person I've ever had eyes on in LA. Like I'm not like hooked up with anybody else. It was like, I, I don't know how to love Laylee. I would text Lubaba. I'm like, how do you do this? What the f- is, what is wrong with me? I don't know how to love. And she would scold me. She's like, you're embarrassing. You're like a robot and AI. But it's like my mom being a nurse. I, I know what my, my issue is. It's your caretakers. That's your number one. It's an absent mom and absent dad. For me, it was my mother who was there for me. But she was a busy mom and we had no money. She was like the bread, like making no, money. Come on. No, listen you, to me. No, no, no. We but, hired nannies lately. I have no memories with my parents. Mm. It's just that like, that's why I don't know how to love. Like when I've had issues, I don't go to my no, grand. You say you don't know how to love, but like, Auntie, you made this man food. You took care of him. That's a my language. Yeah, that is. And you know what? It's his language is like words. And then I, I that's what I'm. I'm like, I can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, but, you and I are not words. We're not. <gasps> affection at all like Laylee no thank you mm-hmm. I've seen how Laylee is sometimes don't touch me. I know don't tell me <laughs> I've seen how Laylee is and I'm like you're a f- and then if when I tell things to the Baba the Baba's like you are a f-. I'm like no no me and Laylee together <laughs> we're like soul sisters no one gets us Laylee yeah we it's uh, I feel like it's better for us anyways we're just protected <laughs> like we're, we're we're traumatized yeah we are so unhinged and we don't like to be chased. We are very f***ing in our masculine energy, if I do say so myself. It's like very, yeah. 
men, we want, we want both. We want a man who has both. And when a man is just too in his, like a man who wants to be taken care of and you have to like tell him all these like words Ugh. of affirmation, I want to barf. That's not a man. That's a is woman. A child. No, but a female child. <laughs> and you, I'm not, I'm not trying to be in a relationship with a female. I'm not right? part of LGBTQ and, plus me. Right? I want an alpha male who's going to put me in my place. <laughs> You know what it is? Just you like, beat me I up. know, you, it's like you want a man who has healthy, like, boundaries. Like, a man who's just like, don't fucking treat me like a bitch. But also, you want him to, like, it is games. Yeah, be a bit soft sometimes. I asked my it's therapist, so it is so difficult. I asked my therapist, what actually keeps the relationship going? Because I fucking know it's not love. Love doesn't pay bills. It's not good communication. It's friendship. it's friendship, but it's also, like, she is, like, it's hot and cold. Like, she's like, who's your longest friend? I was like, Lubaba, I've known her since 17. She's like... Do you tell me the things that you think you and I'm I'm like, I think you're the second place. You're my second closest friend, like very close to her. So I was like, mm. Lubaba told me the one thing that I shared with both of you and we all share like you guys shared with me and I shared with you. And then we don't. And I lost a lot of friendships last year, this year. And I didn't share this with them. Do you know what the fuck that is? It's so painful, but it was freaking boundaries. Like, I have a weird respect thing yeah. for you, and you have a weird respect thing for me. And you, I have it for Lubaba, and Lubaba has it for me, where we don't want to let go. We do love each other. We give a lot of spaces to, a lot of space for both of us. And I let you do your hobby yeah. stuff. I, I do my own hobbies. I get a little envious if you're like with other people and not me. And then if I do something else, you're like, I miss you. I feel <laughs> left out. Same. So it's like, <laughs> she's like, that's how you do with men. And I'm like, no, then f you. I do that with women. F men. I don't want to do it with men. The f you better choose me. But I hang out with me. His hobbies better be mine. And she's like, see, that's where you go wrong. Yeah, you have to keep them on their toes. Uh, You've got to keep them on their toes all the time. You have to be really nice sometimes. And then you have to be a cutthroat bitch. Because men don't want someone who's nice to them all the fucking you're time. Right. They get bored. They get bored. Oh my God. They get so bored. This is it. This is it. The secret. And I've made this mistake. You know I've made this you mistake. You have. You told I was, me. I was wifey. I was wifey. And for what? Look at me now. Wait, I'm wait. unwifed. Lady, but the minute I'm thinking like, when it went to go wrong, I was doing laundry. I fucking knew it. You're right. <gasps> what did I tell you? Bitch? Never do wifey shit for a man. I write it not down. Put a ring on your. You're right. Finger. No, I even said this though. I even said it, but it's like he really does speak to my fucking languages. That's the worst thing. Like they speak to our languages. I he speaks to my language. Like he fucking knows how to like get me to be like, oh my god, I'm I'm drooling. Like fucking men in LA, they fucking know. But it's like. You're right with the, f I, I have to say, but I did like, at the end of the day, I ended up being what I, and a lot of women do. So it's like, I'm not trying to be very critical of myself, but you do really end up being the things that you do. You think back and you're like, that's an ick. What the f was I doing there? Yeah. Bitch, when you were fucking grilling me about yeah. being wifey, <laughs> look at you now. <laughs> it fucking comes to you. I'm going to throw this in your face. I'm going to throw this in your fucking remember, face. Okay, remember we were making fun of Lubaba or something in January? Like we were all like making, I was making, I was, I was grilling Lubaba and Lily. I'm like, couldn't be me, you dumb, ugly sluts. And then seven months later, I'm here with my freaking teary eyes. With, I look like a puppy. I look like an actual Tail puppy. between her legs. <laughs> no, I look like an actual puppy here. But I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. But well, listen, here's the thing. It's like, I wish I knew how to be a fucking woman and I knew how to love. Like, it's the wifey stuff. Yeah, okay, I agree with you. Don't be, guys, I agree. Like, don't lose yourself. Do nice things to people. Maybe do a little laundry, brush his hair, but like, don't fucking lose yourself. She's right. Like, you got to keep them on your toes, right? But at the same time, mm -hmm. I do, I struggle with the avoidant aspect of it. I have severe trust issues. So I could meet the man of my dreams. I'm telling you, he could put a ring right now. Lily, that that doesn't change things for me. I could have, I could be his, I could be his mom. Like I could a ba mom, baby mama, and like have his babies. And it, my therapist was like, does that fix it? I was like, no, I'm not looking for a ring. I'm not looking for. I don't mind doing laundry. I actually have fun doing house chores. I've lived alone for like past three years now. I get like a yeah. thing out of like cleaning is kind of therapeutic in a way. I love doing laundry and stuff, but it's like sometimes mm. I'm exhausted. But it's like could not be me. But it's also like I don't know how to like snap out of my masculine and be like, can you take care of me? A very stupid story I will tell you and quickly, it's like my father being like, I will drop you to school, okay, at 6 a.m. with my heavy school backpack yeah. and he never showed up. He would sleep and he would just like, it's like an absent father in a way. He would never stick by what he says. And how that has affected mm. me as in my adult relationship is very much of, I tell my, this guy two weeks ago, I was like, hey, I need almond milk. You ran out of it. Can you get me some? And he is quite forgetful sometimes. And he was like, yeah, I'll get it. I was like, okay. 
I knew Ugh, in my heart he was not going to get it for me. So you know what I did? I ended up purchasing two almond milk. At, I delivered, Instacart delivered, which I'm paying more for, delivered to my apartment. I took this to his house in my back because I can't live without, I, can't, I cannot do cow's milk. So that's how desperate yeah. I, I was like, you know what? I can't trust him for getting it for me. And I, I got like Almond Breeze, which is like not the best brand in America. Califia yeah. is expensive brand, bougie and all that. I opened the fridge and I see Califia. And then I thought it was for him. He does, he drinks free. He's a man and working out all that. So he drinks like cow, cow titty, fresh milk. And I'm like plant based. I opened it up. I'm like, it, this is his workout stuff. And I put my milk in. I was like, hey, did you get me milk? Uh, I thought you would forget. So I got my own. He's like, no, I actually got you milk. I was like, oh, and it f***ed me in the face. See, you see? I, I know exactly how you're feeling because I literally was thinking about this the other day and it's kind of like the similar situation. But I was also thinking like, when you're in a relationship at the back of your head, you're always like doubting. Oh the person my you're God. With. You're never going to be like, a hundred percent like especially when you've been hurt in the past you're never gonna be like i'm gonna give you my hundred percent and you are gonna give me a hundred percent yeah and like it's it's so bad to think like that but at the end of the day like i said the one thing i always like just re like rewire my brain to think is that listen everything happens for a reason if this person is meant to cheat on you, he's meant to cheat on you. He's not meant to be in your life. This is your story. This is your life. You just have to accept this shit. You know, obviously don't go out of your way to like make a man feel like he's doing shit wrong. Yeah. And like accuse him constantly. Because one thing I've realized is if you constantly accuse a man of cheating. Oh my God. He's going to go no, cheat. No, you're right. Because you've just, because you keep putting in his head and he's going to be like, well, this thinks I'm cheating anyway. So why don't I just go and cheat? It's happened so many times to so many of my friends. And I'm like, you just have to accept this. Shit. Either you accept your journey or you just start a new path. No, you're with right. someone else. Um, like you, you can't just sit there yeah. and dwell and just make your like make yourself sick thinking about this stuff. And you do this a lot, like just in life in general. You I do. think about the negative. Oh my God, you're right. It's like so... But like, I also get you, and sorry, I also get you in the sense where... Um, you you felt like maybe you couldn't 100% depend on him, but I feel like in a relationship, you should be able to 100% depend on the person you're with, especially when it comes to like, like milk. 